Getting your tyre pressure and camber correct is the key to optimising the contact patch between the tyre and the racetrack. And of course the more tyre we have contacting the racetrack, the more grip we have available and hence the car can produce faster lap times. However, how do we know when our tyre pressure and our camber is optimised? In most instances, the tool that we're going to use in order to help us with this is a tyre pyrometer. The tyre pyrometer is a tool that we're going to use back in the pits after the car has come off the track. This consists of a probe that we can insert just below the tread of the tyre. And it's important that we actually read the temperature below the tyre tread because here the temperature will take longer to stabilise. For example, if we're using something like an infrared thermometer to read the tyre tread temperature, then this temperature on the tread is going to stabilise or equalise very quickly as the car comes off the racetrack, meaning that the data we're going to read is not that useful. Because we're reading the tyre temperature below the tread, it gives us a more realistic idea of what's happening out on the track. Now, it's not just measuring one temperature that we're interested in here. What we really want to do is measure the temperature on the inside edge of the tyre, the centre of the tyre and then on the outside edge of the tyre. And by looking at the temperature spread across those three points we can see if our camber is optimal and if our tyre pressure is too high or too low. Now doing this manually and writing down the results is one option but of course the tyre temperature is going to stabilise quickly once the car comes off the track and we've got a relatively narrow window in order to collect all of that data. A better way of doing this is by using a memory recall type product where we can measure the temperature, press a button and record that temperature before moving on and taking our next reading. This means we can move around the car very quickly gathering our data before coming back and analysing our data in more detail once the temperatures have been measured. Some of these products will also allow us to add tyre pressure into our measurements meaning that we've got a full record of what's been happening while the car's out on the track so that we can track our changes and see if our changes are moving in the right direction. If you like that video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson.